Team Keep It Clean. So I'm a little bit different today. We're going to get back to our regularly scheduled program videos tomorrow. Uh, but I wanted to make sure I came on here and talked about how special uh, yesterday was for not only me, but for my son Carter uh, and for his friends too. Uh, and that was Zay Flowers' Zay Day. The first official Zay Day that he had down here in South Florida. And we're looking forward to him having plenty more of them uh, over the years because yesterday was a lot of fun. Um, but it was just a really, really special event for me personally uh because it just it, it, it was special man uh the reason i say that is because of the experience when we first got there uh me and caught and again two of his friends we first got there and I, I saw isaiah likely i saw isaiah likely and he was just chilling chilling he was standing solo and so i approached him i said hey what's up isaiah what's going on man and he was super super cool he was super super chill uh carter got to meet him carter's friends got to meet him and they they loved him because they uh they were just so excited because i showed them who he was I was like yeah this is a, this a ravens football player and they remembered his name they were like oh yeah that's isaiah likely uh so even so we met him and he was super super cool he was super super chill super 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 nice man super nice um and when like the interaction the, the quick interaction that we had with him at the beginning of the event when we first got there the kid i enjoyed it but the kids they enjoyed it so much that when we were actually getting ready to leave they told me that they wanted to make sure they stopped by isaiah likely because he was sitting down again just chilling they wanted to make sure they told him bye so we walked over to him when we were leaving to tell him bye because they appreciated the interaction and they enjoyed it so much that they wanted to make sure they said bye to him on the way out so big shout out to isaiah likely for just how he was how he is and just making that a super super uh, special experience for me but more importantly uh for them then with zay flowers who whose day it was it, it was zay, zay day um obviously this is an event for the kids they had bounce houses there they had all these different vendors they had food trucks uh they had cotton candy ices everything uh it was nice they had a, they had football out there the kids were playing football and stuff but with, with zay flowers um we were standing in the line to take a picture with zay flowers um he was giving out pictures they had shirts and stuff um but we stood in line and it wasn't crazy everything was at the event it was smooth uh it was not wild or anything it wasn't rambunctious it was it was real smooth it was chill it was nice man it was a lot of fun but um we stood in line with, for waiting for Zay Flowers and then like just watching him interact with other people before we even got to the line. There were some big families of maybe like six, seven people. Uh, and he would make sure like there were some kids that when it was time to take a picture, uh, they might not have been making the process as smooth as like an adult would, obviously, because it's kids. It's kids like some kids. They know what's going on. Some kids, they don't. But kids be in their own world. I mean, some adults, we be in our, in our own world, too. But anyway, um, he what I saw from him super super patient man he was never even though it's a long line he was never like hey hurry up let's go they need to hurry this up this needs to be a lot faster this needs to be smoother this needs to be a better pro no it, he was super super chill super super patient and there's a flowers that you see on tv that we see during the games and stuff with that big that big smile that big smile that he has all the time saw that yesterday just about every time that i saw zay flowers yesterday he was always smiling. He was smiling, laughing, joking around with somebody, just having a good time. So that makes the experience even better. So when we got to, to meet him, uh, it was super, super cool. Um, and again, super, super patient. Uh, he took a picture of me and Carter, took a picture with Carter and his friends. And it was just uh, such a, a, a nice experience. And again, the kid, they, they were just so happy because I showed them who Zay Flowers was. I, sh I showed them like, hey, this is Zay Flowers. This is who we meet. And they were like, oh, that's the guy in the picture? I said, yeah, that's him. And they were really, really hyped. They were excited. So we met them. And then afterwards, like, they were like, oh, man, that was so cool. We got to meet two football players from the Ravens. And I'm like, yeah, that, that, that's neat. That's really, really fun. So we, um, so we were there for a little while. We went to, uh, we were at the bounce houses. I always talk about how timing Timing is everything um, because timing, and that's just in life in general, timing just has such a big impact on literally everything, man. But um, we uh, took the boys to the bounce houses. So we were at the bounce houses. They were jumping around and stuff, but they were hot. They were hot. It, it, was, it was hot outside. Uh, and Carter, he was inside the bounce house, but he was just sitting down because he, uh, he wanted some shade. He wanted a break from the sun because it's really hot down here in South Florida, y'all know. But um. When we were at the bounce houses, um, 
somebody was walking past us and made eye contact and he was like, Oh, how you doing, young man? I said, Hey, how you doing, man? And he was like, Oh, you got the uh you got the podcast where you talk about the Ravens, right? I said, Yeah, I, I said, Yeah, we do. He said, Oh yeah, he said good good work. Cause it was it was the a man and his wife, they were walking together. He was like, Yeah, good 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 work. Uh and he said, um, we we try to support your videos. We watch your, we watch your videos, uh, especially because you talk about our son. And I said, hold up. I said, you you Zay Flowers' dad, and, and, and mom. And he said, yeah, we are. I said, oh man, nice nice to meet you. And, and it it was just it was so cool, man. It, it was super cool, and it was um, I don't know. It just touched me, man, for real, because it was it just made it that much more special, man. Because it was like, man, you just I always talk about on here how you just. You never know who's watching. You never know who's watching your stuff. Um, and that's why on here we always try to do our best. I know we, 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 we're not perfect, so we make mistakes sometimes. But we always try to do our best, no matter what the topic is, because there can be some topics where they're they very, very sensitive information. But we try our best to, to treat everything and everybody with respect. We try that. I remember in the past and years ago where we didn't do the best job of that all the time, but we, we really try to do that the best that we possibly can um, because these are people's kids who you're talking about. These are people's parents uh, who you're talking about. These are people's cousins, brothers, sisters, whoever it might be. These are people's families. And even if they didn't have a family, these are people. These are human beings that we on here talking about every single day, whether we're talking about their play on the field, whether we're talking about something off the field, whatever it might be. We're talking about these people every single day, but they're people. So I, I just really, really uh, appreciated meeting Zay Flowers his dad and his mom and it was a quick interaction but they were both super 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 nice man so i appreciate y'all it was a, a pleasure to meet y'all thank you for and thank you for watching the channel too man um there was another experience where uh the boys they wanted some shirts because we got there a little bit late you know i'll be on cpt time but we got there a little bit late so we didn't get to get a shirt right away um, so the boys wanted some shirts, so we were walking over to where the shirts were. Uh, and this guy, he, um, he saw us waiting for the shirts, and he was like, oh, y'all y'all need shirts? I, I said, yes, please. And he was like, okay, I got y'all. What, what size y'all need? And then he took us, directed us to where the shirts were at, and he was just, the, the guy was super, super, super nice, super nice. So I was um, just scrolling on Instagram last night and looked, and I saw, oh, my goodness, this is the guy that was helping us with the shirts. It was one of Zay Flowers' brothers. And I'm like, man, this just, it's crazy because I, I, I didn't know, um, I didn't know that that was his brother. I thought it was just somebody helping, but it was his super, 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 super nice, man. Um, I did meet uh, a couple people from Team Keep It Clean there. Uh, shout out to my guy, Daryl, who was out there. Got to meet him. Nice to meet you, Daryl. Uh, he, he told me that he'd be watching the videos every morning. So much love to you, man. I appreciate it. Um, and then there was somebody else who, when we were first walking in, um, he was like, hey, he, 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 he was off to the side with one of his boys, and he had said, what's up? And I said, hey, what's up, man? And he was like, hey, you, you do, the, uh, you do the, the, the podcast on the Ravens, right? And I said, yeah, man. He said, keep doing your thing. So I just really appreciated that, man. Uh, it, again, yesterday was just super, super, it was super, such a special day, man. Such a special day. And then to end it off, when we were, we were getting ready, to, again, timing is everything. We were getting ready to leave because, again, it was hot out there. The boys, they were done. We had, oh, the vendors. We, um, the guy that was, he was on the grill. He, I came over because I, I just really, really wanted to get a drink for the boys. Uh, I was thinking about getting some food, but I just really wanted to get them a drink because it was hot. They had water, but you know when it's super hot and your water gets hot, it's like, uh, that, that don't taste the best. So I wanted to get a drink. So I walked over to a table where they were grilling, like, the burgers and the hot dogs and stuff, and, um... He was like, hey, we, we sold out of drinks. We don't got no drinks no more. I said, oh, man. But he did say, hey, but we do got food. He said, what y'all want? He, want? he said, you want hamburgers? You want cheeseburgers? We got mac and cheese. He said, what you want? So I got the boys each uh, a cheeseburger. So we got three cheeseburgers. And he was super, super nice about it. Extremely nice. So I appreciated him. So then we went to uh, another uh, vendor. And this, let me, I, I want to try to make sure I get the, uh, the name of the vendor right. Um, because they were very, 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 very nice. It was, where'd it go? See, now I don't see it. I know it'll pop up though. But anyway, um, they were uh, just really, really, really nice. I think it's called like Gold Bar. Oh, Gold Soul. That's what it was called, Gold Soul. 
Um, they were barbecue place. So they, I went to uh, ask them if they had drinks. She was like, yeah, we have drinks. Uh, and I didn't have my wallet on me. So I was like, oh, do y'all do Zelle? She's like, yeah, yeah, we do Zelle. So she gave me the number, uh, told me how much the drinks were. Uh, so I sent her to Zelle, but she was like, they were like, oh, do y'all want fries too? And they were like, oh, no, it, it's free. It's free of charge. And I was like, oh, well, well, yeah. And they were just like super, super nice, man. The, just the, the whole experience of the day, everybody was just super, super nice. And as y'all know in life, like you could be having a great experience somewhere and somebody's vibe could change your experience for better or for worse. But everybody there, the, the vibe was on point because they were all just super nice, super positive, just happy. Everybody was just enjoying themselves. So that just made it so, 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 so fun. Um, then, uh, so we, we got the food, uh, we got the, the drinks, we got the fries, we got bag, they gave us bags for it and everything too. Again, super, super nice. Um, then we were getting ready to leave because again, it was hot. It's very, very hot. The boys were ready. They had even asked a couple of times, Hey, can we leave? Can we go? And, and real quick, shout out to my guy BZ too. Shout out to my guy BZ from Extreme Sports Talk 305. That's my guy. I met him at... Uh, Lamar Jackson fun day maybe like three years ago something like that we've been locked in ever since he's super super cool I had him on the channel before super super cool dude I'm gonna have him on again too for sure but um got to see him yesterday too but again we were we were getting ready to leave and the boys had even asked like oh he said can we go home now because it's hot we're tired so like, okay cool so we were walking out and then Isaiah likely he was on the phone and he was talking to somebody then he hung up and then he told Zay Flowers, he's like, hey, he's over there. He been he he over there chilling in the car. He's been chilling in the car for a little a little bit, but he's getting ready to come in. He was talking about Lamar Jackson. So I'm like, man, we were just getting ready to leave, but Lamar's here. So I told Carter, I said, Carter, I said, your buddy's here. And he was like, who? I said, Lamar. So then Carter, he was hot, he's ready to go. But when I told him that Lamar was there, he was like, oh, okay. So so he was willing to wait. So um, then there were uh, these two kids. There were these two kids who were walking past us, and they were like, hey, well, what's going on? And I told them that. I said, Lamar's here. He was like, Lamar, Lamar. So he started running. He started running because it's, it's Lamar Jackson. So, of course, they're they going to be hyped. So Lamar came in. Again, you know Lamar just always on a chill vibe all the time. Uh, he came in. Everybody saying what's up to him. Of course, the crowd of people around him and stuff. And Lamar Jackson, again, Every single time that we've met him, that we've seen him, that we've talked to him, that we've engaged with him, same thing every single time. Super chill, super respectful, super positive, super happy, super engaging with all of the kids. With so many kids want to take pictures. Adults want to take pictures too. Lamar was with it all. They're like, oh, can we take a picture? He said, yeah, sure. Come on, come on. And again, super patient, showing support to his guys, they flowers. He came through. He had on his own clothes at first and he made sure as, as soon as he walked in, he made sure that they gave him a Zay Flowers shirt, a Zay Day shirt, and he put it on right away. Show that support for his guy. But um, when we were getting ready to, uh, to we wanted to take a picture with him. I wanted the, the, the boys to meet him and take a picture with him. Um, I called him real quick. I said, Lamar, but he ain't hear me. And I, ain't, I, I just, I didn't want to be like, Lamar, 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 and grab his shirt. And wanna, I didn't want to do all that. So my guy Beasy's like, you want me to call him for you? I said, yeah, sure. So my guy, shout out to my guy Beasy again. But he called him. He's like, Lamar, right here. So Lamar turned around. He saw me. He said, hey, hey, what's, what's going on, man? What's up? So I said, what's up to him? And then he saw Carter. And I've talked about this with Lamar Jackson before, how he has this photographic memory. Because I remember before, because it always stuck with me, when John Harbaugh said that about him a long time ago. Like, oh, photographic memory, huh? Okay, cool. I like it ain't really hit me like that when John Harbaugh said it about him. But when I got to really experience it for myself, because we had met Lamar Jackson uh years ago at one of his fun day events. Um and then uh, and he met Carter and like ever since then Carter again, he knows who Lamar Jackson is, but Lamar Jackson has shown that he knows who Carter is. Because when we met him um years ago, uh, then I remember last year uh, when shout out to Nitro when we went to the uh, when we interviewed Lamar Jackson at his restaurant. Um, I had FaceTime my wife and Carter and he remembered Carter and he because he was like, hey, I, I remember you, 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 you came to the fun day. Carter was like, yeah. And I was like, man, like how, how does he 
remember, caught like this dude, Lamar, the three hundred million dollar quarterback, franchise quarterback for the Ravens. Obviously, he got a lot on his plate. Very, very busy person. Meets a lot of people. Has a lot of interviews. Has just does a lot. Very, very busy. Obviously, how does he remember Carter? How does this dude remember my son? Out of everything that he does, all these people he interact, how, how, how is that even possible? Like, I, I only, I don't meet that many people. I got a bad, and I, I can't even remember half the people. But yeah, this dude meets plenty of people all the time, all the time. You know, every time he goes out in public, you know he getting approached. But the fact that he had remembered my son when we did that interview with him at the restaurant, I was like, wow, that stuck with me a lot. So then, um. Last year at his fun day, last year at his fun day, again, he remembered Carter again. He remembered him. And that was a couple months after the interview at his restaurant. I believe, yeah, that was a couple months after that interview. He remembered Carter. So then um, this year, just yesterday, when we met him, he remembered Carter again. He was like, oh, man, you done, you done got big, you done got tall. That, he said, that, that must be from eating at the restaurant, huh? And Carter was a little nervous and whatnot, but Carter was proud, man. Carter's happy because Lamar Jackson, who Carter knows that every Sunday or Monday or Thursday, when he hears dad in here screaming, watching the Ravens games, when they on offense, he hear me screaming and celebrating about this guy, Lamar Jackson. And of course, uh, some of the other guys that, that he met too, uh, Zay Flowers, Isaiah Likely and them. But it just, the fact that that guy, that he remembers Carter man that makes it special man that that makes it so special for me but it makes it so special for Carter and, and that's what it's about that's what the, the events like these are about for the kids I know right on Zay Flowers on his flyer for the fun day it says for the kids and that's real. It, it's for the kids. Obviously for adults too. We, we be there too. But it's for the kids and it's for them to have these experiences and these moments. And it's just great. So when we when we were leaving, when we were really leaving this time, we really, really left. The kids were just so happy, man. Carter was happy. His friends were happy. And they were all like, man, I, I can't believe we got to meet three Ravens players. And they were talking about it all through the rest of the night. So they and, and, and they remembered it too because we left the event maybe like three thirty, four o'clock, I forget exactly when. They got home, uh they ate, of course, they playing Minecraft and playing party animals, playing Mario Kart, play playing all the games and stuff. But then when we were getting ready to, to drop uh his friends home. And so this is like so like we dropped them home about like eleven, twelve. So about seven eight hours had passed since the event and he's like oh man we had such a fun day today we got to meet three ravens players we got to meet lamar jackson uh, zay flowers and isaiah likely the fact that this was their first time meeting uh nfl players for carter's friends and they remembered every single name exactly how it's pronounced exactly how it's said they remembered every single name that was significant to me you know kids be messing up i'll be messing up names and i'm an adult so, but they remembered every name exactly how it's supposed to be said and all that. I was like, man, so it, it really touched them. And then when we got to their house to drop them off, um, Carter's friends were telling their uncle. They're like, oh, man, we got to meet. They, they, they showed him a picture of Zay Flowers, the, the, that he's, the, the picture that he signed. They were like, oh, we got this from Zay Flowers. We got shirts, too. And they, we got to meet Lamar Jackson and Isaiah Likely. And then their friend was like, oh, yeah, yeah. He said, I mean, their uncle, he was like, oh, I, I saw the pictures because I had put them on my Instagram. And... It was special, man. So um, big shout-out to Zay Flowers for having that. Big shout-out to Isaiah Likely for being there. Big shout-out to Lamar Jackson uh, for coming through to the event, man. It was just um, it was really, really, really cool, man. And like I said, this, for them, it's like, not to say it's nothing for them to do something like this because it does take work. It does take planning and whatnot. Um, and there's a, a f financial responsibility with it as well because you got to pay for these vendors to be out there, pay for the bounce houses and all that. But um, it's like, and again, it's not a, necessarily a small gesture from them, but something like this, to, to me, it just has a big impact, man. For me, it had a, a huge impact, and it was just a very, very special, special day. It was a special experience that I appreciated. 
I, I again called appreciated his friends appreciated and it's something that they won't forget they won't because stuff like this it just sticks out to them kids nowadays like i don't know what they be eating they be remembering everything like Carter, this dude remembers everything from when his stuff was he was a baby so he's a little kid i mean he's still a kid but this dude be remembering everything I'm like, how you remember so much but since these kids nowadays their memories are crazy they'll remember this they won't forget it and it will forever be a special moment for them so now when i might be watching a game or something and Carter might be watching it too. He maybe he look at highlights because sometimes it's like him, my wife will watch. Um, but he'll if he see oh Isaiah likely, he'll be like, oh I met him. If you see oh that's Raven Zay Flowers, Carter will be like oh yeah I know him. But then of course especially for Lamar Jackson, Carter will be like oh I know him and he knows me too. 